direction. Eyes on his back. Uh, huh? His oh. eyes is on his back. That looks like an alligator head on a cockroach body, bro. This is nasty. <laughs> oh, this is nasty. that was accurate, yeah. This is nasty. Why? And today we got <laughs> yeah. your time machine broke at the worst time in history. This is by Kirk or 1847. Yeah, no, oh no, we can't go back in time. Oh, like at all. At all. No, like pretend. What's the got, farthest back we could go? Pretend you got into a um, time machine. Like pop up from the table and pretend like you just went back at any moment in time. That's <laughs> <laughs> like it's we're cooked. Why are you so good at that? You forgot. That don't hurt. It, it, it was a bonnet. You know where I get these skills from, boy. That's so crazy. Sorry. Um. Yeah. It don't. Sorry. It don't. It don't. It don't work. We can't go back in time. I don't even think we can go forward in time. <laughs> you think <laughs> we can go back? <laughs> we gotta, I think we gotta stay right, right here. here. The only place, we can't even go back to 2013. <laughs> no, we gonna go back to um Xbox 360. Bro. No cap, bro. Hell nah. Hell God nah. Lobby, bro. But the title, your time machine broke at the worst time in history. Um, bubonic plague. Um, Great Depression. The Dust Bowl. Who knows, man? We're gonna find out. When you McDonald's took away the snack wrap. No cap. If you, you already know, know the vibes, be sure to check out my stuff. Nah, yo, yo. Should check out Stanley's stuff. Stanley Live. Let's just get straight into it. Yo. Your time machine broke, and you're stuck in the worst time in history. It feels like you stepped into an oven. There are no plants or any vegetation, and almost no moisture in the air. The Where sunlight smashing down. Niggas went to Detroit. Niggas went to New Mexico. <laughs> no cow. What the From the cloudless and weirdly colored sky is reflected by an endless sea of red and orange sand dunes stretching over the horizon. For th Low keto? Hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. That is 100%. It's there. You know it's what, there. bro? It's there. That's your type. It's there. I see it. It's there. It's there. No, no. That's like it's... your type. Huh? That's like your type. Type? So like I see it. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's like no, I'm just saying like it's the shape is sculpted like she definitely hit the gym, like this, t you can't tell me this that is a hundred percent. You can't tell me this isn't Lulu, bro. One hundred percent. She got the she. wrist. That is that is a hundred percent. That's a girl. That's a man. That's a that's not a man. Over under chat. That's a man. This is a girl, bro. That right there is a man. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm in. Thousands of kilometers, dust devils the size of buildings dance over the hellish landscape. Uh -huh. That's her hands right there, bro. Hold up. <laughs> You're in the early Triassic, hot house Earth, 250 million years ago, a few million years after the worst mass extinction in history. I don't care if that's a man, not gonna lie. He slash she too caked. History. The planet is still suffering from a permanent fever. Volcanism and the runaway greenhouse effect has transformed the planet into hell. There's three to five times. Why they up the budget on this video, bro? I ain't gonna lie, this video looks what? crazy, I feel bro. like I'm watching Star Wars right no now. No cap. There's more CO2 in the air than in the human era. The formation of the massive supercontinent That's Pangea... That's a girl, bro. That's Hold a on, bro. ...led to the largest desert in history that barely sees any rain. The gigantic ocean is warm, even deep below. Two superheated currents circulate around the globe, pumping extreme amounts of heat and moisture into the atmosphere. There's no... Ice, even at the polls. She fine, she fine, she fine. She good. I ain't seen no deal when he got tased. That's what I'm saying. That's a girl, bro. That's a girl, bro. Seems like you're Wait, stuck. That's a girl, bro. Wait, there's no deal bone. Huh? There's no deal bone. Yes, that's a girl. No, no, no. So even if she did get electrocuted, we wouldn't see it because there's not bone. That's what I'm saying. Bro, this is a, this is a woman, bro. No, no, no. no In the center of the bro. desert. Pay attention to the video, bro. Isolated right. by endless ancient land masses. One of the most hostile environments Earth has ever produced. The deserts we know are still full of life, but not this one. Its core is starved of moisture and the air is bone dry. Your okay. skin dries out and your lips begin to crack. The CO2 rich air is easily 50 degrees Celsius and sears your lungs with every labored breath. The rubber soles of your boots begin to melt. If you touch the ground. Oh, are we on Earth before it turned into Earth? Cause like Earth used to look like Venus on some stuff. Oh, did it? Yes, yes. Sound, you'll get burns. Your sweat evaporates before it could cool you, and your exposed skin begins to crack within minutes. Vaseline. <laughs> Suddenly, it becomes even hotter as a red. Or matter of fact, matter of fact, hit this right. That really be making them more chapped though. That's the no thing cap, though. No cap. You know what you gotta do? You gotta. 
Yeah, man. you really get two of those before you got to equip. Before, yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. then the more you do that, it starts it, dropping up It starts doubling arm. down. Yep, yep, yeah, yep, it's crazy. yep. It don't cure it. It just prolongs it. Isaac Newton said that, I think. Come, shoot. Sandstorm envelops the landscape. Like thousands of tiny sparks, burning hot sand hits your skin. Oh, we're just in Texas. You're pressing your machine's buttons <laughs> at random. It can't... Shoot, we ain't even go back in time. We yeah, just went to El Paso, bro. <laughs> do time travel, but it can still move. You shoot over some of the mightiest mountains Earth has ever seen. Eventually, you stop at the shores of the Tethys Sea. The Vosh. Yeah, now we in St. Padre. Ocean looks more like a swamp among scattered groups of waist high ferns and spindly stems with tufted foliage. A few Lystrosaurus feeding on them eye you curiously. The water is murky and looks sickly and milky. Colorful mats of bacteria float on the surface like oil slicks. The air is hot and humid like a steam room. It's hard to breathe and your sweat can't evaporate and cool you. Even the water can't give you any relief. It's as hot as a freshly run bathtub. This hot ocean can't hold much oxygen, especially in deeper layers. Bacteria and bivalves are the only species that thrive here. The waves move almost sluggishly through this thick bacterial soup. When they break, they leave behind a glistening iridescent film. Oh Each God. wave that hits the shore releases it's like you can't get a break. Yeah, anywhere, this bro. actually sounds ungodly, crazy, horrible, bro. My goodness. The mist that makes your eyes and throat burn, carrying the rotten egg stench of hydrogen sulfide up from the oxygen starved depths. Barely conscious from the heat and smell and CO2, you look at the horizon. A storm is building, unlike any you've ever seen. The hot ocean feeds it endless energy, and with no continents to slow it down, it will dwarf the fiercest hurricanes of your time. You're doomed. Your broken time machine jolts and... Is this how your parents said they went to school? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and my shoes were dirty. <laughs> Yeah, That's just put like a 900-pound so. book bag on her and she'll be fine, bro. Screeches. Something's happening. You're near the equator in the late Carboniferous, 320 million years ago. The atmosphere is thick with moisture. The climate is locked in a never-ending wet super summer without any other seasons. Bro, can I get like a, a somewhat cold one? Just, just, yeah, like some type bro. of breeze or something. Bro. Just a, a second. Like Jeez, something, bro. bro. Give me a lagoon. It can't be this bad. Colliding continents are covered by the largest swamps the planet will ever see. A paradise for plants growing faster than their dead biomass can do. You ever like really actually try to think and conceptualize the concept of Pangea? Yeah, it sounds crazy. Like imagine, you know how big North America is. You mm. know how big fucking Asia is. Right. Imagine all of those as one. Nigga, that is that's too massive for your brain to even like conjure up, like actually. Like imagine yeah. being able to walk to India, bro. Bro, what? Yeah, well, I mean, not able to walk because like there's no way you can walk that. Well, distance. technically, that concept. You could if you dedicated your life to it. You could of walk course, to India for of sure. Course. But I get what you mean. It is crazy. That is insane, bro. Decompose. The ground beneath is a warm, soggy mass of decaying vegetation. Okay. What will be an endless desert in 70 million years is now an endless alien jungle. A huge variety of life is thriving in this period. From your perspective, this is not that great. You're lost in a maze of giant tree-like plants towering over a twisted undergrowth of giant ferns and endless varieties of bizarre and unfamiliar vegetation. The thick, humid air smells of sweet decay, but breathing makes you dizzy. Your vision. So how is she the even time? walking? Yeah. Like, what? Your vision seems too sharp. Your thoughts slightly frantic. The dense plant cover has supercharged the atmosphere with oxygen, 60% higher than in the human era, and your body is trying to cope. Which is great for the dominant land animals, which have conquered every niche of this majestic garden. Bugs. Okay. You're stuck in the golden age of arthropods. In this uh, oxygen-rich world, they have evolved. <laughs> so is that she a vulture mite? <laughs> no cow. To sizes that will never be possible again. They are innumerable and everywhere. 
armored cat-sized megarachne crash through the undergrowth, hunting us. Hell, uh, hell no, hell no, bro. Because I don't even like regular cockroaches, bro. That gotta be at least. A swarm of panicked roachoids that scatter in all directions. His eyes on his back. Uh, huh? His My eyes are on his back. That looks like an alligator head on a cockroach body, bro. This is nasty. <laughs> oh, this is nasty. that was accurate, yeah. This is nasty. Above you, the griffin fly with wings spanning nearly a meter and beating like helicopter blades catches a paleodictyoptera mid-flight. You stumble through the bushes filled with countless crawling creatures as an arm. Nigga, that looked like that one thing in Mario, bro. That looked Wiggler. like, what, did, what was the thing that you was telling me? Uh, uh, human centipede. Hum looked like three people just. Like you know, there. that makes it seem like I'm just walking around talking about the human centipede. No, bro. but I ain't. You was. Come on, bro. After a plur, the length of a car picks its way through the ferns. Hell no. Moving countless legs in hypnotic waves. You reach a swampy clearing and stumble into the shallow water, dizzy and terrified as a pulmon scorpius rips apart its prey, eyeing you with some interest. Here in the clearing, you can see the sky above the canopy glow shrieking red, intensifying at an alarming pace. This dead ass used to be Earth, though. You know, this goes along with my theory. Obviously, nothing's perfect and everything still, depending on how you look at it, sucks. Uh -huh. But, bro, there's really, like, I know this sounds crazy. We're in some of the best times to be a human. Yeah. Like, I just, yeah. like, like obviously, there's problems with the world, but, like, th there we could be doing so much bad to each other. And the worst, the world isn't, like, you know the best with, like, global warming and stuff. But, bro, we're doing great Even with our planet. generation specifically. Yeah. Like, obviously, economy, mm -hmm. trash. Right. Cons state of living, trash. Right. Politicians, trash. Right. But we got to realize we were born early enough to not deal with the constant threat of the sun blowing up. Yeah. But also late enough to where we can experience good internet. Yeah. I will say the only ones that got to run for us is 90s babies because they had a much better quality of life. Yeah. Because we were actually going outside and You're stuff. Right, I agree. But... 90s babies are still alive, but now yeah. they backs hurt. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, we, we're in a pretty... We're in a really we're solid a era right you now, You know when you bro. take a Tetris block and yeah. rotate it and put it down? Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe not them because they're not, like, older. But, like, we're You in know a when you, like, like, scroll and get three TikToks in a row? We're that. We're that. You know what I'm saying? We're that, bro. You know when you're taking your vape and putting it on the charger and mm. you get it just right? Mm, we're, mm, that. Mm, we're, mm, that. Mm. we're that. We're that. Mm. We're that. We're uh, that. Uh, the first hit you know of a... Strawberry grape apple vape. No, no, no. When you're texting your AI girlfriend and they actually respond, you know what I'm saying? Mm, like they saying? do, they you like updated the prompt so you yeah, finally get a exactly. new prompt on your like, AI girlfriend. They they be doing that because they don't get no him too, him too, him yeah, too. I'm not yeah, looking no, at him too. No, it's oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah, both yeah, of them. Yeah. yeah, no, tight, tight, tight. The extreme humidity here creates sudden violent thunderstorms, and the oxygen-rich atmosphere makes everything flammable. Will you land a bottle flip? That was good. Ooh, that was good. That hold was on. Good. That was... Tight, tight, tight. Talk to him. Ah! Ah! Come on now. Flick. Ah! You know what I'm saying? 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 Tight, 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 tight. Even the wet vegetation can burst into explosive flame with the slightest spark. Why do all of your trips end in a stall? Yeah, she can't get to one good place. Well, at least it will take all the creatures that want to eat you with it. Your broken time machine jolts back to life. The world is folding in on itself. You've woken up in the early Devonian, 400 okay. million years ago. This Most of the good. planet is covered in shallow seas, while the land is mostly rocky plains and mountains broken by braided rivers and mudflats. Okay. Earth is in a state of transition. For about 100 million... Hey, good for Earth, man. Yeah, good, good, good for. I'm Earth, glad man. that it's focusing on itself. No, no, no. State mm -hmm. of transition. Be, be who you are, bro. Yeah, bro. Be who you are. I, I hope the, I hope the surgery goes well. In years, life has begun to break down rocks into soil, a soft layer that enables plants to grow and life thrive. The okay. ozone layer is slowly building up, fed by organisms. Oh, so a better atmosphere. Releasing gases. Mm. Recently, this process has been speeding up. The land is turning from toxic to semi-habitable. The sky looks wrong. Isn't that crazy that we have an ozone, bro? Like, genuinely, like, think about that. Like, the, we have the map. Oh, no. I, bro, I be up late thinking about, like, deal. Feel me? Stanley, what's the ozone, bro? Wrong, somehow. First of all, you got man to man. Then you have zone coverage. So the ozone is a zone in. 
The sun blazes harsh and white, barely filtered by the unfamiliar atmosphere. The air feels thin with only 15% oxygen compared to today's 21. Each breath feels shallow and unsatisfying. Her freeform is kind of tough though, I ain't gonna lie. You're on the verge of passing out and can only move slowly. At least it's currently moderately warm and not stormy. But it's what dominates these lands that makes this world truly alien. Reaching up to eight meters into the sky. I'd be mad as hell if I was stranded and my time machine was smiling, bro. You saw, <laughs> you saw how happy it looked? Geek, bro. This shit. That shit would make me turn it off and turn it back <laughs> on, bro. That shit, that shit would piss me off, bro. Imagine you get stranded in slavery and your shit look back to you like. <laughs> he fuck out of here with me. I ain't gonna lie, bro. These lands that makes this world. I'll turn that hole to a cotton gin, bro. You put me in work too, nigga. You put me in work too. Truly bro. alien. Reaching up to eight meters into the sky are massive obelisks of fungal prototaxites. As you walk closer, you notice spores catching the sunlight, drifting through the air like tiny stars. Your movement disturbs more of them, creating clouds suspended in the thin atmosphere. They coat your skin with a fine, powdery, itchy film. My, my allergic ass would die, bro. Boy, yeah. this has to be allergies on this drugs. Would, no, I'd die. I'd yeah. die. I, I actually genuinely couldn't hang. You don't have any allergies, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah like no, nah, you got it. I'm dying. I'm dead. You try not to think about how many you're inhaling with every breath in this oxygen-poor air. Fuck no. Nah. The ground feels nothing like soil. It's mostly rock partly covered by a thin, slightly springy layer of decomposing matter. Some shallow water pools reflect the pale alien sky above. Between the fungal towers, there's a carpet of smaller fungi and a few alien-like... You know what I would pay good money for, though? Awesome. I just came to me. I would pay good money for... Imagine, like, I guess, almost like a theme park as version <clears throat> of making all of these as wraps. <laughs> like, you know how you could go to a museum... Oh, like different stages of the Earth? Earth, bro. I would OD pay good money to walk into like a museum. What you gonna do about like the, the like 1800s different. and stuff though? Like, what you gonna put there? You walk through, you walk through cotton, nigga. They want the pens. If you white, you walk through a house. If you black, you walk through the, you walk through the cotton. You know what I'm saying? It's a different experience. We're trying to capture realism. You know what I'm saying? So it depends. If you light skin, you go through the middle. <laughs> plants, no flowers, no leaves, just strange green stalks and fern-like structures that reach your ankles. Around you, the fungal towers rise like pale pillars. Their surfaces neither smooth nor rough. The sites would be beautiful, though, I ain't gonna lie. Right? Sites but imagine, something like, in between. We were talking about that the other day, because like trees used to be the size of skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. like, we got young-ass trees. We got young as we like a, a tree nor dry slightly yielding under your touch small patches of what might be lichen create splashes of muted greens and yellows on their surfaces the only animals you can spot are a few insects burrowing into the large mushrooms everything is eerily quiet that gotta be beautiful yeah you sit down on a rock is this it as the night approaches, the pale sky shifts into sickly purples and greys, bleeding into the darkness. No animal sounds announce the coming night, just the solemn whisper of the prototaxites creaking in the wind. Through the thin atmosphere, the stars and the Milky Way illuminate the scenery with unsettling clarity. The fungal towers loom as pale shapes against the starlit sky, their silhouettes seeming even more wrong in the darkness. You are utterly alone, a time traveler lost in an alien world. Your time machine sputters. What now? All that to go back to where 9 to 5. Yeah, I'll be so girl. mad if my time machine made me leave there, bro. That sounds Nigga, tranquil, what? bro. Why did you make me leave when I was literally evaporating, game? <laughs> no cap, What is he bro. talking about? Time to start rebuilding civilization. <laughs> and I went back to a busted ass earth. They can no take cap. me back. Bro. Cracked windows and everything. And while a hammer and saw would come in handy, the single most important tool you'll need is your mind. Enter our friend. Type shit. Hey man, that's gonna be the video. I hope you guys liked it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, be sure to check out my stuff. Not yo yo. Check out that stuff. I'll catch you guys in this one. Peace.